Hi everybody! So today we are working on framing out the floor and I thought I would update you on the progress so far. What we have done so far is on our wheel wells we have made these boxes. Um, so we took the plywood sheets, um, three pieces of plywood and three planks and we put screws in the end of this so that way this would make it nice and secure and steady. Um, and that way everything would be secured. Now we don't have anything secure to the wall just yet. Um, we are probably going to anchor something to the wall. But as far as our floor framing process goes, right now we have these strips of um, pressure treated lumber and we have cut them down to size because I think it's like 90 and a half inches from wall to wall. So we cut those down to size. We're only going to be doing, I believe, one and a half inches um, high in height. So we set these up right against these um, boxes here and we anchored them down with some self tapping screws and uh, put silicone in there to make sure nothing's going to happen. And then we screwed these boards into the boxes so that it's nice and steady. So the next stage that we have done is cut these boards to go in between these two um, panels that we framed out. These are going to obviously uh, tighten to these boxes here and then we're also going to put a piece right down the middle going horizontally to make sure everything is nice and secure. Alrighty y'all, so moving on from the process I just showed you, I wanted to show you what we did next. So this next scene here is my husband is putting down uh, some silicone and this was just a little um, door slash port that was open from whenever we removed the floors. And um, so we were initially going to weld over it, but my husband wanted to do this. That way it would be easier to remove in case we needed to get to anything. This is pretty much where the diesel tank uh, sits under here. So if we ever had to get to anything. So we're just putting the original metal cover that came with it. We're just going to go ahead and put that down with the silicone on there. That way in case we are driving, if any water tries to splash up in there, it won't get past those lines of silicone. So he's just making sure that that's nice and straight on there and then he's going to grab some self-tapping screws and he's going to screw through that. We were very careful to make sure that it wasn't going to puncture any uh, diesel lines or any, any hoses or cords or anything like that. So we made sure to keep track of where those were going to be. So like I said, just using self-tapping screws and moving on from there. So now that that's done, I'm going to kind of show you guys how we framed our floor. This isn't a uh, up close version of this, but I wanted to kind of show you from afar what we were doing. And then I will do one area around the actual area where you would pump the diesel in where that cover is off to the left of the screen there um, where I frame around it. So what we're doing right now is we're measuring out 60 inches from the door in the back and we're going to be putting it on the edge of this board that I'm holding down right now. The reason that we're doing that is because we're going to actually frame out where our bed is going to be a little bit differently. So like I said, we're doing the height of the floor, like one and a half inches. And in the bedroom area though, we're going to be doing up to three inches. So we're going to have our bed frame right up against this piece of um, frame that I'm putting down now and basically what we're doing we measured it out put some lines along the sides that way we knew exactly where it sat and then we've got some liquid nails here that we're just putting along the edge of that board and then we'll just flip it over and put those on the lines that we drew originally and then we have a drill and a drill bit we go through about an inch away from the edge of the wall and we drill a hole there and then I believe it was like 24 inches out from the wall we were making sure to drill a hole there now you're not drilling through the actual floor you're just drilling through the wood 
and then uh, just so that it's easier for some self-tapping screws to get in there. And then we put the self-tapping screws, add, take those out, add some silicone, put the self-tapping screws back in, and then like I said earlier, you just want to make sure that with the silicone, no water is going to splash up or go through there. And we will be doing some adjustments underneath the bus to compensate for this as well, just to make sure that there's not going to be any water coming up through any of the holes that we have made. So you can tell, yep, I'm putting in a self-tapping screw right now. And then we're going to measure out, I believe, 24 inches from that. Drill a hole through, get your socket with your impact, do your self-tapping screw. But yeah, so like I was saying, we're just going to make the bed three inches high in height because it's going to be raised up a little bit and we want as much insulation as possible underneath our bed in the bedroom area. So that's why we decided to do that because it's going to be raised slightly and we want to make sure that there is three inches of surface area where we will have insulation. So you can see here I'm putting the silicone on there and then I'm also putting it on those self-tapping screws and then just putting them back in through that hole making sure it's nice and secure and so that's pretty much how we were doing it on all of these boards throughout and like I said I'll show you an up-close version of kind of what I did when I was framing around the actual diesel tank pump and uh, you know we'll go from there but we usually like to put the self-tapping screws in on each side of the board. That way it's already steady and, and in there. And then we'll drill the rest of our holes and then start taking them out and start taking the self-tappers out and then start putting the silicone and go through. So I'm measuring each of the edges here. So I'm going to go right to where the edge of that diesel tank pump is and measure all the way out to that board that I have there. I'm just writing down the measurements and calling them out to my husband so that he can go ahead and cut those boards to exactly what I need. And I'm bringing it out to the board that you already see in the frame here. It's just kind of over that, that cover that we put down earlier in the video. So there's gonna be a slight gap between that and the diesel tank cover, but that's fine. This is originally how we did it, and I know it's not perfect by any means, and actually, unfortunately, some of the boards, when we got them, they, when we cut them, they were still a little bit moist, and decided to, um, when they dried, warp. So, that was pretty unfortunate, but it's something that we dealt with, and just ended up getting through, so we may do with what we had, so nothing's going to be absolutely perfect, but it's going to be good enough for the purpose that we need it. So you can see here, I am just trying to make sure that the pieces fit that my husband cut and I'm obviously trying to make sure that everything is square. You can tell with this board here that it is severely warped so it was kind of hard to get it square but at least in the corner is what mostly mattered to me. I just mostly needed that square and then I was going to have my husband cut off the edge so that way I can put it up against that other board there and just move on.
All right, so now that I have all my board pieces cut properly, I'm just going ahead and going it gonna go ahead and put some liquid nails down just like how we did on that larger board earlier. And then from there, I'm just going to put it back on its face. I obviously didn't need to mark where it was because it's going to sit right up against the wall there. And then I will get my self-tapping screw and go out about an inch of the cover and then on the other side you can't see it but is where that other frame is that goes around where the wheel wells are so again you just drill a hole that way the self tap and screw has a little bit more accessibility to get down into the actual metal frame so just doing that through there sorry my big old head's in the way and you, you can see I'm applying pressure but I'm not putting it all the way through because I will be taking those out and I believe yeah it looks like I did one in the middle as well so I was just trying to kind of go halfway through the middle put another self tap and screw that way it was at least in line with what I needed but I will take those self tap and screws out here in just a moment and then I'll put um, some silicone in those holes and put it on the self tapping screws and then I'll make sure they're nice and secure. And so yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what we did and I just pretty much do it all the way around. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. You know, like I said, this is by no means a perfect rendition, but it's good enough for what we needed at the moment. And I look forward to seeing y'all in some other videos.